good, Life and Poetry fam? Welcome back to the channel with your boy, your host, the one and only Marcus T, this guy. And we are back with another video for your viewing pleasures. Life and Poetry family, it's been a while. I know I've been off the grind just a little bit. I think I missed a few deadlines for video uploads, but it's all right. Good things gonna get done regardless. I'm so excited, Life and Poetry fam. I got some great news for you guys. I just saw about the title, you know what we're gonna talk about today, guys. Oh my God, I'm so excited, guys. But before we jump into any of that stuff, guys, go do me a huge favor. Go ahead, like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And once you've done that, go ahead, do me another favor and turn on that notification bell so that every time I drop a new video, every time we drop a new video here at Life and Poetry, you can be notified. Trust me, don't want to miss these bangers that are coming your way as you close out 2021. We're dropping bangers every month here in 2021. It's, it ain't going to be every day, but you're going to get something great every time we come to the channel. Stick with your boy, stay tuned. But like what you found, but without further ado, let's talk about some greatness, guys. No transition here. We're going to jump right into it, guys. You got the transition beginning. You got the nice intro coming right there. Bang, bang, boom, bow. Let's talk about it, right? Like what you family. I'm so excited. Uh, first, let me say, yeah, I've come a long way through so many things, so many changes, so many ups, so many downs, so many people talking, so many people doubting me, uh, even me doubting myself. But it's cool. It's cool because I'm going to keep pushing no matter what happens. Um, although you may not see it physically, spiritually, yo, I, I'm, I'm in a space where I'm walking without my walker, without my cane. I'm, I'm back running two mile morning warm up runs. I'm, I'm getting it done, but I got to get it done. Um, I'm walking hand in hand with my wife, but I hold on to the walker for balance. Now that's me and her walking, just going on walks, be just exploring, just out there exploring safely. Safe, you know, COVID's still out there. We got to explore safely, but I'm excited to put you in. But so, two things, new doctor, right, new, new primary care doctor, and uh, now a personal physical trainer. Um, I'm so excited, guys. Let's talk about this doctor first. I'm talking about the doctor first, right? So, I don't know if I told you guys this before already, but my original primary care doctor um, has been with me since I've been born. He's a dual, he's a dual practice doctor. He, he's a pediatrician and a regular uh, primary physician. Um, He's been with me from the jump. So 29 years he's been with me. And then a few months ago, he retired after 40 years of service. Um, and I truly thank him for for sticking with me through this process here and being the one who said, you know what, let's figure it out together. And I just been saying, okay, here's some medicine and take this and go on. He really put work into trying to figure out the best course of treatments for me and figure out, uh, to give me explanations of what was happening and why it happened, why it took so long to happen, so on and so forth. He really was a pioneer of the stuff that we that I'm, that I'm walking into now when it comes to understanding my treatments, understanding my diagnoses. Um, he's, he's one of those, one of those doctors on my team of doctors, doc, plural, who's helped me along the way. And I want to thank him so much. Um, I'm, I'm not going to drop his name, um, but he knows. I, I, don't doubt, I doubt he's watching my video, but he may be. I don't know. But if, he's, if you're watching, Doc, thank you so much for being with me for so long. Thank you so much for for your countless years of, of service to to the community and to those who are in need of your services, medical services, um, and, and proficient uh, medical advice. Um, and I, I just thank you for it. And I pray you nothing but uh, peace and success in your retirement, that you just enjoy life with you and your wife as you guys uh, just explore life together as you guys have earned it. Um, you guys have earned it. And uh, I'm, I'm just excited for them. Um, but yeah, so because he retired, I had to go find a new primary doctor, which I didn't want to do. Um, if, if, if you guys have been with your doctor for so long, you understand the rapport you built your doctor, especially when it comes to complex medical histories and stuff like that. And I didn't want to have to be the one to explain to a new doctor, X, Y, Z, F, G, H. You know, I was like, this is too much. It's too much. My, my medical records are so extensive because of so so much has been happening, so much has transpired over over the what the, the course of what six seven years, you know, which was way more than over the twenty nine years I've been living. Um, but you no, know, Doctor Cumberbatch, I said his name. Doctor Cumberbatch, my primary, my original primary doctor, he and his team made it possible for me to. Uh, made it easier for me to transition from from his office to a, a new office, to a new doctor, um, by putting together a, 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 
a portfolio of my records that, that we need to know that we're more, more on the, okay, this is what we need to focus on here. The other stuff's already taken care of. It's in the, it's in the digital system there, as most doctors do. But he made sure that he, he made sure to make the transition easier for his patients as we found new doctors. He even took it upon himself to search new doctors for us that would be best capable or suited for what, what we needed. That's amazing. Dr. Cumberbatch is, was an amazing physician. He probably, I'm quite certain he still got it in him. 40 years of service, you know, countless achievements um, from the city and the state. He, he just was an amazing man, amazing person. But transitioning to the new doctor, guys, I went to the new doctor Monday. Um, well, I don't know what if it was going to drop, but I went to the new doctor um, and I, needed, I was nervous. Again, I don't do doctors a lot, but I, I came records in hand, insurance card ID. I'm ready to go. I, I, I got to stay positive. I got to go in here with a positive mindset because I, I don't want to I don't want to come in there with already bad intentions on my mind. You know, I, I prayed about the doctor. I spoke with uh my pastor about it. He was like, you know what, go in there, open mind. It's a great thing. He prayed for me. He prayed for for, uh, for me as we went through. Uh, my wife and I have the same doctor now. He prayed for us as we went through. Um, and so we get there and I'm, I'm in there. And, uh, you know, full physical, you got to just drop trial. You know, get in there and we do the assessment and things go great. You know, she's she starting a great conversation. She's, she's helping me feel more at ease. I, and I, I was able to explain to her that I felt uncomfortable uh, not because she was a lady doctor per se, but because it's a new doctor, and I, I didn't want nobody looking at my records and saying, "Man, this is a lot to deal with." I don't. I, I, some people, some doctors do that. I've had I've had doctors tell me that I couldn't be that patient because my records were too extensive or it was just too much to do. And I was like, "Okay, that's fine. You know, you you have your this is your practice. You can do whatever you wish to do." But I I was always um, prayerful and hopeful that a doctor who was willing and capable enough to take me on as, as a patient would, would be there. And so far, that's what I've had. I have my team of specialists on one side and my primary doctor over here. And they're working, you know, collectively to make sure that we are on the right course of treatment for everything, whether it be medicine or just exercise, PT, whatever it may be. They're all working in conjunction with each other, um, which is a blessing. It's a blessing. I swear it's a blessing. Um, but yeah, so I'm there and I'm, I'm with the doctor and she's making me feel so at ease. And she says to me, as she, as she peruses through my records, she says, man, read your notes. I know exactly which doctor did this with the, that from just the way the doctors wrote that note. So I was like, this got to be heaven sent. Right? She already got a report with these doctors who, who are on my team here. So better, it, more easy transition. We're going to bing, bang, boom. We're going to make it happen, you know. Um, but yeah, so we're in there. We're talking about, she says, she says to me, it feels like she's been with me since 2013, which when the diagnosis, when the HIV diagnosis first came up. Um, but she's rocking with it. She's like, okay, I got this. Boom, baby, we're going to do this. Okay, we're going we're gonna to make sure we're up to date with this. We're going to keep up with that. Okay, we're going to put this on the forefront here. All right, link up with this doctor here, make sure you got the records. And I'm like, okay. All right, so you want me to do what? You know, she she literally sent me, she, she literally went to the records and said she's going to reach out to the other doctors she need to get to, to get more in-depth um, notes from the file. But for me to go back to one of the specialists um, for, for follow-ups, uh, which were routine follow-ups, there was nothing, nothing drastic, I don't think. From the follow-ups, I, I I don't believe there's nothing dressed on these follow-ups. It's just so we can stay on top of things as we go through this 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 journey, this process for medical treatment. Um, but I'm 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 excited to have this new doctor um, on my team now. Um, she seems capable and she's willing to do what it takes. She she, she listens, um, she advises, um, and and I love her because she said to to, to us we went there that she doesn't just push medicine on you. She likes to walk through the process and figure, okay, if it's needed, then we go that route. But if not, let's see, let's see if there are other options to go through. Um, and that's what we're doing now. You know, my medicine cocktail has been the same since I got to the specialist out there that, that the, um, the, my, other, my other special doctor who probably deals with the diagnosis. Um, and she's working in conjunction with that. She, she understands the medicines I'm on. She got proper notes about it. It's, it's amazing, guys. But that's the doctor, right? New doctor, I'm excited. Once a year physicals, um, unless something else pops up, we go back, you know, just get checked out, so on and so forth. But so we gonna, we, let, let, let's leapfrog doctor to the trainer, the trainer, right? So if you if you guys have rock with me since the jump of life and poetry, when I first talked about physical therapy and how my first, I don't know, I don't know if I said this before, but how my first in-home therapist, uh, she she had resigned, she quit, she didn't come back. I don't know why. I don't really try not to boggle myself down about it. But um, 
I kind of know why, but I don't want to say why respectfully. So, <clears throat> um, but, <clears throat> but you know, guys, oh, over the years, <clears throat> I've been doing my own physical, my own therapy, my own physical therapy, my own PT, um, myself and some of my battle buddies have been come help me out. Um, my wife has been helping me out, um, through some of the journey as well. Um, and it's been a process. It's been a process, but I, I've been doing my best to keep up with it. I, I fell off for so long, fell off for so long. Um, and that's, that's me. That's, that's me. I'm taking accountability for it. That's on me. That's not on nobody but me. It's my job to make sure I'm up to date and on top of everything I got to get done. Um, but I fell off, but it's, it's cool. It's cool. Um, cause I'm jumping right back in. All right. So I, I have, uh, a, a, a new, um, uh, 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 a, a new gentleman who's helped me now with my PT. Um, he's an amazing person. He's a personal trainer. Um, and he, he's worked with people before. Who he's he's, let, he's a, let me know that he, we've talked about this. He says he's worked with people who are in my condition before. And it's um, when it comes to the walking stuff and trying to get mobility back in their limbs, legs, so on and so forth. And it's a, it's, it's, it's a blessing. Um, and he's actually a, a close friend of the family. Um, I call him his family, really. He's been around us for so long. His family. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna drop his name. I don't know how you know if he wants to pin me on social. Pin, 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 if he wants me to put him on social media like that. I dropped my doctor's name accident, but uh, but I won't drop his name. But just but he's working with me and he's coming with a, a schedule and routine for me now. As we dive into things and he's he's doing assessments to figure out where, where we are and where we got to get to. And I, I had my first session um, a few days before the for the new doctor for the new doctor appointment. And when I tell you I woke up in pain that next day, it wasn't so much in pain. My muscles were like, bruh, what were you thinking? You know you gotta go in light first. But I was like, this was a light, it was a light PT, it was a light PT session. But I felt everything the next day, which is a blessing because I know that now my muscles are like, okay, we we gotta get this working. You know, that's a blessing when you can feel it. If you're not feeling it, then you're not doing it right. Um, that's been my motto. If you're not feeling it, put more work in. Right? No pain, no gain. That's the motto we live by. That's the motto I wanna keep fighting for. Um but I'm excited, like for you, family. So I got the new doctor, the new, the new trainer. I'm gonna keep you guys up to date with both of them as much as possible. Um, not mo more so with the doctor, because like I said, every, every one, once a year it's for the physical. So, but the, um, the, the 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 PT, I'm gonna keep you guys up to date as much as possible as I can. I'm just excited about it. I'm, I'm guys, I'm back in the swing of it all. We're doing PT um, twice a week, and it's it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Um, Right. What it says, uh, uh, I will walk again. I am walking. What, what is no? What is, it says, um, I will walk. Um, I'm going to walk. I am walking. Right. Right now. I'm walking. And it's really just that simple. We're not stopping anything less, anything short. Like for your family. I had to give you guys that update because I'm excited about it. And I'm going to keep you guys up to date as much as possible here. Um, are y'all like my sweater? It's not mine. It's my wife's. She said I could borrow it. <laughs> she said I could borrow it. Um, Cause I think it's tough, right? I think it's tough, right? I think it's dope. I, lo I love a good cardigan. I love a good sweater. You guys know me. You know, I love my sweaters. Um, and it's cold in here, <clears throat> so I had to put my sweater on. It keep it nice and warm up a little bit. But um, I'm, I'm so excited. I told you, family guys. Thank. Just stick with your boy. Um, as we drop more bangers back to back, we drop more videos back to back. No matter what it's gonna be. Um, I don't I don't know what's to come next for the channel. I really don't know what's gonna come next. I don't know which video we're gonna drop next. I just know it's gonna be something great, something great, something great, something great. Um let's stick with me, guys. Um and yeah, that's about it for today. We're gonna get out of here, we're gonna get some work done. I'm gonna get some editing done, we we'll get some stuff for the book done, book number two. We're just kicking that thing out with a with a passion. We're getting book number two popping. No games, none of that stuff. We get none of that stuff. We get we just dropping it left and right, left and right, left and right. We're getting it popping. Um, and I think I said it before, book number two is going to be a small, smaller book, but stick with it. It's going to come out with fire. Um, but check it out. Check this out. Greatness is on the horizon. That's just some evil for you. Stick with it. Don't give up. No matter what. Don't quit. Don't give in. Continually, continually be you. Unapologetically. Unadulterated. Be you. I heard your family. We out. We gotta go. Um, oh, before we go, I guys, don't forget to um, like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. 
Don't forget to follow me on my social media pages. Um, TikTok and Instagram just popped up right there. Right there. Um, both of them are the same usernames at officially.marcus.t. I fell off of TikTok for a little bit, but I'm coming back with, with positivity and encouragement. Instagram is going to be updates with poetry, different things like that, so on and so forth. Right? But at officially.marcus.t is still there. It just went away. Go check that out there, guys. If you want to follow the Life of Poetry uh, Facebook page, the link for that is in the description down below. As well as, the, as well as the link for my first book, Love in the Eyes of the Author, a collection of spoken word pieces by yours truly, Marcus T. This guy as well as a, a variety of other phenomenal writers who helped me compose that book, writers, illustrators, editors, um, brainstormers, uh, great people, great great minds, great minds in that book there, who wish to stay anonymous and will leave it that way. But, um, but guys, yeah, so that's it. Follow me there, do all this stuff, guys. Stay, be encouraged throughout the day. Finish out your day strong. Whenever you watch this video, finish, finish out strong and remember, you are loved, you are important, and you are one of a kind. Let's support your family. Uh, we out. So stay safe. Be blessed. Until next time, catch y'all later. It's time to get some lunch. Is it lunchtime? Yeah. We out. Peace. I really am hungry, though. Did the clicky work today? Nope. One time.